action. Hi right, guys, I'm Ryan. I am the King of Booty Fab. Uh, thank you for tuning in and joining me for a little while. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. And if you've never been here before, hang out for a while. I, I promise you, I do some pretty cool stuff, or at least stuff I think is cool, which really it's all that matters because it's my channel. Um, if you haven't, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, if you pick anything up, if you enjoyed it, if you, I don't know, comment, tell me I'm doing it wrong, do the whole YouTube thing, guys. I absolutely love the entire process, the interaction. I'm trying to get back to the regular videos. More so for me than anybody, well, more so for me and the algorithms, because the algorithms hate it when I miss days. Um, but for me, the videos actually drive me to work on this more, and right now, I could use more of my car in my life. So, uh, yeah, today, we're working on the front end of the car. No sneak peeks, it's up there. Should I say, we have been working on the front of the car, and I filmed this last. So, uh... Yeah, how about we get at that, and uh, the end of the video, drop me a comment, tell me what you think. So I've been holding on to this front clip for the other car that I'm not working on right now. And I, it's going to be a nicer car, and I came to the realization that I really like these lights. So, we're going to flip this thing over, yank the lights off, and see how they look on the front of the rat rod. Well, the boy wants a wall hanger for his wall. Because I'm not using that grill. All I wanted was that bottom cone because I like the shape. To go with that. Oh. And there we go. I love the shape of these headlights. So uh, we're going to see if we can't make something work with that. This. I got the top of the hood and it's got the matching mohawk on it. I'll make this look like something. Well, I've had this piece sitting around for a while. This is the piece I cut out of the bottom of the grill. And this is what's left of the collapsible canopy that I started building this car in. It was a present from the wife and kid, and the top was long gone about three or four years ago. But we're gonna see we can't uh, make a grill out of this. I kind of like the radius edges on this and it's a little beefier than the stamped tin stuff that I've got in the Anglier grill on the other car. Uh, I figure worst case, this is again all parts I was going to throw away, see if I can't make something cool. Well, I finally had it with this old whip. It's uh, it's beaten up, liners kinked. This thing is uh, 20 years old. I don't even know why I'm fighting with it. But I already ordered the new one, so I get that. And the only difference between my new whip and the old one is the old one's just got spade connectors, and this one's got that fancy plug on there. So I throw a couple of spade connectors on these wires and uh, fire this thing together, then I shouldn't have to fight with it anymore. You guys won't have to watch me, uh... yeah. I don't know why I was so lazy. Not sure how many people asked me why I had no shielding nozzle on there and I kept telling them it's because I was just too lazy to go out and buy one and the whip was all buggered up. But this thing, I got this on Amazon. Where's this from? Welding City. And seriously, this whip is way beefier than what was on there. I'm overly impressed. Um, straight out of the box. 
it's two feet longer and it just feels better so yeah came to me quick it was cheap and it exceeded my expectations thumbs up with the help of my lovely assistant assistant jade she had determined that we really liked these bars as the uprights they're three eighths of an inch wide and she wanted them a half inch spacing and this is the leftover yeah right there from building the subframe from the floor down there you know, in case you missed the last video the beautifully bead rolled floor so I'm using this bar up on here that'll make sure that it stays parallel because I squared off the middle bar and as long as this bar stays square then every bar after it'll stay square but to attach it at the bottom because I needed more than one bar to attach this bottom piece and I'm missing the center there I'm gonna add that in after I've determined I'm happy with it all um, I do this kind of stuff all the time. I know these are half inch electrical tape, tape it all up. In theory, we could tape this entire grill. We could put a tack up top all the way along. The nice thing about using this is I know that my bars will stay parallel. So looking at it, it'll all follow the shape. Even though it's going around there, I didn't want the bars to curve as they go around. I want them all parallel. After we get about seven bars wide, we're going to start tapering this up. Um, I don't have a specific shape in mind. I'm just kind of going with it since I've got all the pieces here. But yeah, this is how I'm going to keep this all aligned. These pieces here, just tape it all up. Oh, anything to make things easier, guys. So, this seems like a good, good time to test fit it. When I was eyeballing it up, we kind of thought that these longer bars were going to be about right. But, once we step back, see that grill's basically bottom of the tire. So that'd be basically on the grill. And by the time I get the hood piece on, it would be higher than the windshield. Top of the windshield. So it looks like i got to take about six inches out of this in the morning. Six inches or so, but yep. that much. Take about six inches out of this in the morning and then add in the rest of these grill pieces. And hopefully by the time she gets home from school, I'll have a whole bunch of vertical bars and the top section of the hood. Sound good, honey? Yep. Okay. So that's where we're packing it in for the night. Good night. Good night.
Well, a poor little flux core MIG just hates this thin wall tubing. But I kind of like it as upright, so we're just kind of piecing it together right now. And I cut the old top, or the top out of the old hood. It was pretty mangled. I did. Um, yeah. I don't know, just kind of seeing how all the lines flow and figure out what I want to do here. I don't hate it, but uh, yeah, so that's where we're at. I'm going to make some headlight mounts here. Yeah, lots of scrap outside that we're not using anymore. Well guys, that's where we're going to leave this off today. Now, this whole process is going to take a while. I'm probably going to change some stuff. I really just wanted to get something up there and see how I feel about it. I love these headlights. They're staying. I'm not 100% sold on the grill yet. It might just be because it's not finished or it's not at the right angle. I think the peak of the hood is too high for my vision here. Um, the headlights need to go out a little bit and they need to drop down a little. There's stuff I got to do here, but the big thing is just kind of getting a feel for how it's all going to sit, and that's, uh, that's a really big part of the creative process. So, that's where we're going to leave it anyways. And honestly, I'm probably going to take about 100 pictures of this, sit in my chair, hang out with the family, and contemplate what the next move is on this while I'm in the house at night. So thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you haven't yet, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, do the whole YouTube thing. I love hanging out with you guys. Um, I think she likes hanging out with you too. I'll see you on the next one.